Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Monday, December 6th, 2021. So my goodness, we had quite a Friday with just a little bit of back and forth, a little bit of uncertainty in the market. Ended up closing just a little bit lower. But this morning we have those bulls trying to push to the upside with a little bit of a mix in that look this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, let's take a look at this diamonds. Now, diamonds, you can see here in the pre-market, we're looking for a little bit of a pump up here into the morning. And we've seen this look before where we try to gap up early in the morning and let's realize that we are pushing up. We're pushing up right into a level of price resistance. In fact, I want to remind everyone that it was right in here where we pushed up um, and went up um, a great big um, a great big push to the upside and completely reversed it at the end of the day by the end of the day and set a new low so let's keep in mind that that certainly is possible we're going to look for those potential entrenched bears up here willing to defend so let's watch that closely and then let's realize that we have additional levels of price resistance in the chart to be thinking about if we can push through here notice we have a little price resistance right in here in the chart we have a little bit stronger level right through here in the chart and then even a stronger level as we push right up into here we also have a pretty ugly topping pattern in this chart so please keep in mind um, i think investors um, tolerance for risk has pulled back just a little bit because of this volatility and um, we may not have the willingness to just rush in and continue to rip to the upside as we have in the past at least just yet until we can shake out some of these uncertainties um, in the market so just keep that in mind we've got a lot of work to um, to get through these levels also keep in mind we do have that downtrend right here and if we take a look right across through here that could be the highest um, area of resistance as we push back up somewhere between there and there as we push back up and we start hitting downtrends and things in that chart so watch that closely now the other thing I want to point out is I know no one wants to hear this and I get it but we didn't quite test this level of price support down here notice we have a really strong level of price support so we cannot rule out that possibility even if we do rally today that there may be another test to the downside so watch carefully for that watch carefully for those potential reversals remember when volatility is so high we can have a lot of head fakes we can have those pop and drop patterns we can have uh, whipsaws we can have overnight reversals so please keep that in mind as you plan your um, risk moving forward let's take a look just really quickly at our moving averages notice here as we rally up we're going to run into that big resistance area here in the chart somewhere right through here and through here there's that downtrend again and notice we're going to have our 50-day moving average and notice our 34 exponential moving average is getting ready to cross down through that 50 creating this really big area of potential price resistance in the chart we're going to have to deal with so as we rally up remember Watch for those places where those bears could be entrenched and we could see a little bit more selling. Not that we will, but that we could. Let's take a look at the spot. SPY is in a better situation here than the Dow um, substantially. And that's because we held this level of price support, at least sort of held that price level of support we bounced and now we're trying to defend and hold this area in here but as we rally back we'll want to keep in mind these price resistance levels in the chart that have challenged us before up here 
as we push up into this area, that could be a little bit of a problem. So as we try to move up, watch that carefully. And we're, we're showing just a little bit of um, uncertainty here um, with tech sectors um, or tech stocks looking a little bit lower this morning. So that may also challenge the SPY as to whether it can push up. And if we do see tech share slide and we start to see that S&P 500 slip that back down testing this low, and if it were to happen to slip past that low, then we have to start looking for the next levels of price or support in the chart. And if you look right across in here, we have some price support in these areas down here, which would be a rather painful pullback if that were to occur. So keep that in mind. Now, once again, if we take a look at those technicals on the chart, we're holding right there at the 50-day moving average. So that is a good sign. If we don't get those tech shares really selling off, then I would suspect the SPY will continue to hold this area in the chart. But watch that closely. If that were to slip and lose that 50-day, that could be a little bit of a problem for us. Then let's take a look at our, SP, or our QQQ. Our tech sector is a little bit shaky here this morning. If you um, followed the news over there in um, Hong Kong, um, last night, Hong Kong tech shares really sold off strongly. There is a lot of concern over there. Um, uh, Chinese government making um, some pretty radical decisions when it comes to um, uh, technology shares being listed in the U.S. And what that means is there's all of this uncertainty about that. I would suggest that you be very, very careful with anything Chinese issue right now until this kind of settles down. Now that being said, if we take a look um, at our chart in here, we have some price support in this area. And this morning we're right there at that cusp where we could be testing it as support or where we could fail it as support. So watch carefully in that area. Notice that we do have a downtrend. Our head and shoulders pattern in this chart is definitely in play. And as we, if we can find some rally, if we can find some bullishness, we have a pretty strong level of price resistance right there in the chart that could challenge us. Now, if we were to fail at this area, well then once again, I think we will probably pull back and we'll seek some new levels of price support in the chart. There's a pretty substantial one right there. And if that fails, maybe down into here. So watch carefully. If those tech shares begin to sell off, that could be a big problem for us. Because remember, it's been tech that has largely held the market up um, for the last several months. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look um, at the technicals on this. And notice we're holding right there at the 50-day moving average. So that adds just a little level of price support in here where we can hold if those tech shares um, can find that reason for buying in here, then we bounce off of this area and that could be a nice sign for the market. So watch carefully. Then let's take a look at that poor IWM. The Russell, by golly, Russell is not looking so good here. Now with a big surge back in the Dow, that may help the Russell. But let's keep in mind that we have a year's worth of price congestion in this chart that we're going to have to deal with. And as we rally back, we've got significant levels of price resistance to think about in the chart. I also want to point out that we came really close to testing this price support level in the chart, but notice we didn't quite make it there. So we cannot rule out the possibility yet that we could still push down into that area here in the Russell. So kind of keep that in mind. I, I hate to say it, I know nobody wants to hear that we could see some more selling, but I do think that is definitely a possibility. If we rally back, let's keep an eye on this res little resistance level right here in the chart. See if that um, will be a place where the bears may defend. If they don't defend there, look right up into here. We have a significant level of price resistance up here. So watch that carefully. We also can't rule out that possibility that we may just need to rest. We may just go into more of a choppy consolidation here in that chart. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look um, just really quick at those technicals. Notice that we are 
well below our 200 day moving average in the chart. Our 50 day moving average is starting to turn lower. Notice our 34 EMA crossing down through that through that 50 day. It is entirely possible if this doesn't get moving here soon that we could have that 50 day cross down through the 200. Um, creating that potential death cross um, in the days looking forward. So just remember guys to plan your risk carefully that we we may not zoom all the way back up like we have in the past. Investor um, sentiment has been damaged here a little bit by this big whipsaw. The buy the dip buyers definitely got hurt last week. So watch that closely. They may not be quite as energetic or willing to just dive back into risk. They may have a little sensitivity um, because their accounts have probably been uh, diminished in size as a result. Let's take a look um, at um, our VIX. Our VIX certainly is elevated today, but we did pull back a little bit on that Friday um, rally back right at the end of the day. So watch that carefully, but we are quite elevated here in the VIX. And what that means is we need a substantial pullback um, in the VIX to uh, kind of calm things down. Um, anyone that trades options, your option prices are going to be significantly higher. So look for really wide bid ask spreads, particularly at the open. Um, this morning we'll see how this plays out but we have this upside trend moving um, in that chart and just notice we have considerable levels of price support if that VIX starts to pull back fear seems to be holding up a little bit higher than we would expect or we would like to see and just keep in mind if we start to pull back um, watch these levels in here. That might be the place where we can find those price levels of support. So just keep that in mind as we pull back. There's still an awful lot of risk here of volatility. Then let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122 indicator probably gives us the most hope of a relief rally. And we do definitely show here in this chart that we are oversold in the short term. So keep a close eye on that and just realize that if we can get something going here in the market, we have plenty of upside potential here in the market. We're still gonna have to watch those resistance levels, but T2122 tells us we are oversold, at least in the short term, and that we should be watching for that potential relief rally to begin at any time and then if we take a look at our t2107 i gotta tell you guys um pretty <laughs> pretty bearish here on t2107 um 35 of our stocks um, or all there is is 35 percent of our stocks holding above their 200 day moving average that's a lot of weight on the market we need to see a major improvement in here but as we rally back notice we're going to have some price resistance levels that we're going to have to deal with back to the upside. Um, and this overall downtrend um, may continue to challenge us as well right in that area. So watch carefully T2107. T2108, which is um, probably not the indicator that most people watch, um, the 40-day moving average. But notice that only 24% of our stocks are above their 40 day moving average that has been in a pretty ugly decline and we've been, i've pointed this out before we've been making new record highs in the market with lower performance in the majority of stocks so kind of keep that in mind um, watch that pretty closely if we take a look at our t2101 our absolute market breadth as you guys remember i've been mentioning this watch out if we were to break above this big old downtrend in that absolute breadth we've been winding in this big wedge pattern well we certainly got that breakout and notice that friday even with that um uh, end of day rally we didn't really change here on market breadth. So watch this carefully. If we do get some bullish activity here in the market, we want to watch this pull back. And what we really want to see is that pull all the way back and drop back down into this wedging pattern. But if it were to hold a higher low, find support in here, that's where real selling could start. So keep a close eye on uh, T2101. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, um, pretty much nothing going on here today. 
um, in that calendar. We got a three month bill, six month bill auction, and um, investor momentum index that nobody pays attention to. So, not much going on in that earnings calendar to move us around today. But as we move forward in the week, keep an, uh, keep an eye on these international trade, petroleum status, jobless claims, CPI coming into the end of the week. So, a relatively light week. We've got that job openings report. A little bit of a light week um, on that economic calendar. On the earnings calendar, we're also going to lack some inspiration. Uh, today, we only had about 15 companies on that calendar, and um, a number of those are unconfirmed. But I do have a few notables listed um, on the blog. If you want to click that link right, right below the title of the video, that'll take you back to that morning blog, and you can catch a look at some of those charts. Let's take a look at um, some that we'll be reporting today, COUP. P um, on that list. Keep an eye on Coop. We have HQY on that list. You might want to be watching that. It's been in an ugly, ugly little downtrend here. Um, MDB is, um, whoops, M. DB. There we go. MDB is reporting today as well. If you want to catch that full list again, go back to the morning blog. These are uh, are notable, but obviously these are not the kind of stocks that um, really change markets um, or drive markets in, in different directions on those earnings reports. So just kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you feel these videos are worthy, if you could please do me a favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. I truly, truly appreciate that. And um, for those folks that um, have been supporting the channel, through the buy me a coffee link below the title of the video I just want to say thank you so much for everyone guys I'm gonna to put together um, I'm gonna to shoot for this Friday I'm gonna shoot for this Friday we'll do a live event on YouTube and I'll do that drawing for reaching um, uh, 25,000 so I can get you one of those um, one of those um, carving prizes that I have done for your Christmas decoration so look for Friday um, for that live event and I'll give you more information about it as we go through on the week. Let's take a look at some stock setting up but I want to spend just a little bit of time more than looking at, at stocks and we'll take a look at a couple. Let's take a look at STX. I think STX is setting up in a pretty good pattern here. Notice we're holding up above some support. Um, we know um, um, that tech has been holding up pretty darn well. So keep an eye on STX. How about LAC? Now, LAC, I was watching this for that upside move, but we had a little bit of selling, a little pullback in this volatility of the market, and we have pulled back into some price support and this trend here in LAC. So I'd keep an eye on that. That may have an opportunity to find a few buyers in that area. So watch that closely. Um, when you take a look at stocks like GIS, this is a defensive sector company um, starting to move um, to the upside. Watch this price resistance in the chart. But when we start to see these dividend pay payers, some of these more defensive sector stocks, perking up makes you have just a little concern about the market that there may be um, a little bit of a rotation going to um, some of it, some safety plays in the market. Take a look at FEE. Um, I guess it's not FEE. Just a second. I can't remember the symbol. FE, I think, is just the symbol. Um, it's a utility. Um, and notice that we've got an interesting pattern here. That possibility of that inverted head and shoulders pattern starting to play out. Now, we do have a little bit of downtrend. We have some resistance in that chart to keep an eye on. But I do think it's interesting that we're seeing utilities hold up as strongly um, as they have. Again, big dividend payers. Those are the things that... Um, could suggest uh, that little bit of rotation in the market. Um, I keep mentioning Ford, and I still think Ford is worth keeping an eye on. It had a pretty ugly day on Friday, reversing. 
So it is entirely possible it could fail that support. Watch that closely. If we continue to hold in here, however, then I would look for that upside, continue to watch for that upside breakout. Um, in Ford if it can hold. So with that guys, one of the things I wanted to point out is that we are, as our indexes have broken down below their 50 day moving average, as we rally back up, we wanna start looking for stocks that could fail near our 50 day. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that here in the diamonds chart. If we roll back up, as we start moving back up into this chart, we're gonna wanna watch those stocks that may rally back toward their 50, find that resistance level in the chart. This is one of my favorite shorting trade strategies. We call it the blue ice failure. That's where we rally up toward that 50 day and we just kind of run out of energy. We hit that, we just can't make it back through. And that's usually where we can sink and sink pretty hard. So as we rally back to those resistance levels, you may see me starting to mention more short trade setups um, in the market. So keep an eye on that possibility. I know a lot of folks don't like the idea of the market going down, but we do have to pay attention to these patterns and that possibility does exist. So look at the chart for what it is, not for what you want it to be. So I'll be talking more about that as we move forward. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. I want to wish you great results. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have an awesome day. And I want to wish you all of the best. Take care, everyone.